and whatever comes out comes out kind of thing all right hey what's up this is existential experience i am here at nirvana retreats today So how long have you been doing yoga for? It's been 14 years. Just after my two kids, mm -hmm. I started doing it. So starting from 2003 and now. It's been yeah, a long time. And like what is your experience? What has your experience been uh from the time you started doing yoga till now? I remember kids uh, won't let me sleep in the night, but there was something inside coming from inside which was which was really pushing me that okay start girl start and then i started hiding myself behind a big tree that nobody should see me i am having a awful figure and i shouldn't be seen and from there i started so uh, the the aesthetics of the body was motivator for you started something so he came to me and like you're doing so good why don't you join us and be the team leader here and i was like okay somebody is you know uh, having little pity on me and <laughs> inviting me but then i took the courage to go there and from there it started and now you teach a lot of people yeah. and uh, i have attended your classes and i enjoy it as i say it all the time have you um, had students that came up to you ever and they were like you know what Help. they have helped themselves through yoga as well a lot of people you meet absolutely absolutely i remember um, i did a workshop of 250 people and there was like in the there was for the school teacher and kids uh, for one army school and there was one student a teacher there so my student that time mm -hmm. and she was healed she was having a heel pain and uh, and the foot pain yeah so she was healed completely healed we never use the word heal most of the time because like it will cure so she was like completely cured within some 15 days and i was that was so surprised for me and then i had more trust since then that day and the journey was altogether different after that you know that changing that was the changing point altogether who would you suggest yoga to if someone's watching like who should do it who is it good for everyone everyone i everyone knew everyone <laughs> it is good for i remember like after practicing it for uh, two months i made the decision that i should quit my job and started doing this and this is the only thing which i can do that's that voice was coming from deep inside and now i say it's for everyone mm -hmm. everyone needs that awareness that love love for themselves you know how you are you are lovely you are beautiful 
as as you are now yeah. like yoga teaches you to be in present mm -hmm. and once and that too in a very loving way that you are there you are loving yourself and you are loving everyone everyone else so that proves something yeah. to me that absolutely what would you say to people who think that yoga is a very soft thing to do would you say yes it's a soft thing to do or do you think no it's it's Come really join my class then. <laughs> <laughs> you'll that find sweet, out eventually the sweet is the, the victim <laughs> i i i can bench 145 pounds i can squat heavy i can deadlift 300 pounds But when I'm in her class doing yoga poses, I am screaming. So it's it is very soft. It is very soft. <laughs> very soft. I bet it is very soft. <laughs> and now, just in your own words and experience, would you like to express something about yoga? Just, like if someone completely new comes up to you and he asks or she asks the question, "What is yoga?" What would you have to say to that? It's the union. It's union of yourself with you. and once you united with yourself you united with every being in the world the world looks awesome once you have lived that point of you that's what right. thank you so much for being here thank you. <laughs> thank you thank you that was awesome it was an interesting experience that i planned everything in advance i thought that i'd be there on time and everything but somehow i was taken by lack of planning all right so i was thinking that i'll be here by 12 but because i did not schedule in advance and i did not uh see the gps in the right place i found myself being stuck for two fucking hours to finally find out this place at that moment i was realizing that um uh, maybe this is uh bad of my part maybe i would have i should have planned better and this and that but in that in that moment what really helped me through was to keep in mind that everything will be okay all right it's great to plan it's great to plan in advance it's always a great lesson but i think being in the moment always surpasses um any planning they both go hand in hand and uh even your present you will see the that the path will show itself to you kind of thing right it will start showing itself to you you would find the right people who would tell you uh the direction or something will open up in your favor and you will eventually get there and the most important thing is that let's say if you're trying to get to a place or get to a destination or get to whatever goal you have set yourself for what is What does it matter being there if you haven't enjoyed the journey of getting there? Right? So the whole point that really shouted out at me was uh how is the journey going? You know, how am I feeling right now? And of course, life will throw a lot of things in your path that will uh that will make you want to be a little bit pessimistic, maybe a little bit negative, maybe a little naggy and frustrate a lot of frustration. And you know what? Those things are also just as important. Unless you go through that, you wouldn't find the upper parts. You wouldn't be able to appreciate uh the ups and the positive things. So, eventually, everything worked itself out. I'm here at this beautiful location and um uh, yeah, planning something for future. Maybe uh that would be a part of um this existential experience thing that we're doing here and um you you stay stay tuned for that
What a view. Bunk beds up here. Just pretty neat place in the country. Let's shower right there. And down the tube. Mm-hmm. 